Davis. Well, first tonight, a homelessness charity has accused Leicester City Council of failing to do enough to tackle rough sleeping. And it's prompted a row about how many people are actually living on the streets. Local politicians are disputing the government's new official figures for rough sleeping. They show that numbers across this region have soared. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, is at one of the city's winter night shelters this evening. Uh, good evening, Jeremy. So, um, what's happening there? Well, here at the Sacred Heart Roman Catholic Church, they've just started setting up ten beds for the night. This is the One Roof charity that moves around churches, a mosque, a synagogue and a Hindu temple too. And in a moment we'll be finding out why they're demanding more action from Leicester's city mayor. But rough sleeping is a growing problem right across the East Midlands. People are ending up on the streets for all sorts of reasons, from falling outs to drug problems. Often they're workers from Eastern Europe who don't get any housing support when their shifts start to dry up. And the latest annual figures have just been published by the government. They say 160 people are sleeping rough in our region on an average night. That's a sharp rise of 66% in a single year. Now, this city had the highest figure, 36 people on an average night, but councillors here in Leicester reckon that figure is being overestimated, and today they've denied that they're trying to sweep the problem under the carpet. Absolutely not. Um, both myself and the city mayor are committed to reducing the number of sleepers in the city. One rough sleeper in the city is one too many. The city's mayor says there are 16 rough sleepers in Leicester on an average night. His own officials have told the government there are 36. It is right. Well, I think both are right. In, in, in respect of the city mayor, um, obviously was quoting the figures from last week. We identified 16 rough sleepers. Um, but we do provide figures to the government as we're expected to each year. And that suggested that on average across the year last year, where there were 36 people were sleeping, but we've never actually identified 36 people were sleeping. We think the figure's probably somewhere between the 16 and the 36. Well, I'm joined now by Salma Ravat from One Roof from the charity and by Karen Rooms from Leicester Cathedral. Salma, how desperate are the people who come here? We have guests on our beds who have been gnawed on by rats, they are victims of torture, they've been victims of violence, they suffer from mental health or addiction problems, so it's really important that we try and help as many people as we can. Karen, the council says no one in this city needs to sleep rough if they qualify for a hostel place. Well, there are some people that the city council can't help, but organisations like us and the 250 volunteers from different faith groups who've worked together can, and we want to work together to address the issues. You're asking for a meeting with the city's mayor. What do you want that to achieve? What we'd really like to do is chat with the mayor, sit down and talk about the scale of the problem in the city and actually come up with some creative solutions together because obviously there are people out there that we can support that they can't and I think together we could end with sleeping in Leicester. Briefly, is picking a fight with the council really going to help solve this problem? We're not interested in fighting. What we want to do is make a difference to real people's lives so that they don't have to sleep rough night after night in the cold. Karen Salmon, many thanks for joining us. There is actually some help on its way because Leicester's getting more government money to expand its rough sleeping service. And the city's just begun a five-year review of its homelessness services, so I think you can expect some more rows to come. Okay, Joan, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you.